One of Eastern Oregon's longest running events hit its 50th anniversary over the weekend in Jordan Valley. The annual Big Loop Rodeo, which attracts big numbers to the area and brings in economic support every year. But this weekend, an animal rights group targeted the rodeo to make a point. That's where we begin tonight's edition of the Sunday News at 10, happening in Oregon now. A bill that would outlaw the practice of lassoing horses at rodeo competitions. The bill's supporters call the rodeo event horse tripping. They say it's cruel. Opponents say horse roping is a standard practice in animal husbandry. The 19th Andrea Lutz is here now with the latest news about an arrest this weekend, drawing more attention to the controversy. Mark Carroll in the Jordan Valley Big Loop Rodeo, they're trying to protect themselves against criticism for an event they say is their way of life and their Western heritage. However, a 30 year old animal activist with shark or showing animals respect and kindness was arrested this weekend at the event for going against the rodeo's recent rules of videotaping. In Jordan Valley, Oregon, the Big Loop Rodeo has been taking place for years. It's tradition. But this year, there's something different. No video cameras are allowed inside. That means our television cameras, too. Big Loop Rodeo has been under fire recently from a group called Shark after volunteers documented what they call cruelty at the 2012 rodeo event. Steve Hindi with Shark says his group travels around the country to rodeos exposing cruelty. We simply sit in the stands and film and then we let the media like you or lawmakers or, and, uh, and sponsors and just people at large uh, let them know what's going on. 30 year old Washington resident Adam Fonstock was sitting in the stand Saturday. He volunteers for Shark. The Malheur County Sheriff Brian Wolf says he was breaking the rules of the rodeo by videotaping it. When asked to put the video away, he refused and was taken into custody for disorderly conduct. With such a big event going on, those with the rodeo declined to speak about the decision to ban video, but recently told lawmakers the event draws hundreds to their community. The event is timed. One rider races to lasso the neck of the horse while another gets the legs. When the horse falls, the clock stops. Shark has documented the event on YouTube. All we do is take pictures or video. That's what we do. And yes, we do circulate it. But that's what we do. Our main job is simply to document and expose. The Jordan Valley Big Loop Rodeo is the only known rodeo in the state to run this event. An Oregon Senate bill to stop the event has passed in the Senate. It's now on its way to the House. 30-year-old Adam Fonstock was released from jail tonight. He will be back in court to face his charges again. While those with the rodeo declined to speak with us on camera, the sheriff did tell me the rodeo grounds are private and their board has the authority not to allow cameras inside. Carolyn. Thank you, Andrea. If this legislation passes into Oregon law, it would mean that roping a horse by the legs would be illegal for entertainment, but veterinarians and ranchers would still be allowed to do it.